Okay, this video is called the Seesaw Contest for Your Brain. And what this is about is a lot of people say, oh, my relative's becoming, you know, mentally slow. I think I'm worried they're going to become demented. What can I do? Is there a pill I should take? And there's also the Alzheimer's theory of dementia, which is totally stupid and makes you helpless. But the key point I want to make out of this slide is that it's not one thing that causes dementia. It's always a bunch of things. Lots of people have 15, 20 things going on simultaneously, pushing them towards cognitive impairment. Uh, and I'm actually currently in the middle of running a series of videos all about what makes you stupid, what makes you cognitively impaired. And this diagram here is like a, a seesaw. And these are the good things, they're all in green, that protect you from cognitive impairment. And these are the bad things that um, all push you towards cognitive impairment. So, you know, we kind of know the good things. You eat a plant-based diet, you get the antioxidants, the fiber, the potassium, magnesium, nitrates, which are nitric oxide precursors, low-fat vegan diet. They all protect your arteries, protect your brain. You get your sunshine for vitamin D, you get your sleep, manage your stress, have a sense of purpose, religion. All of those things strengthen you. Stoicism, it strengthens you. Tradition, family, friends, exercise, they're all good reading good books, watching good movies, music, they psychologically strengthen you, okay? You need to know the truth about things so you can make informed decisions, cooperating, working with each other. That's all things that make humans strong and healthy. Okay, now here on the opposite side, we talked about all this paleo carnivore, keto stuff is a big joke. Same thing with the Mediterranean diet and the SAD diet. All those things plug up arteries, predisposed to obesity, diabetes, and hypertension, make people sick. Um, the good fats thing is a big joke just to trick the pearls into eating more fats, okay? There's tons of neurotoxins in these processed foods. Um, there's other neurotoxins that are hard to fully avoid being exposed to because of the trails and the you-know-what uh, sky. Um, and a lot of these preservatives are quite toxic. People ingest toxins intentionally because they're stupid, like caffeine, like these artificial sweeteners, aspartame is an excitotoxin. Um, you want to watch out for all these endocrine disrupting chemicals, these estrogenic chemicals, because a lot of them, um, they're prothrombotic. They tend to be, you know, a woman has increased incidence of DVT when she's on birth control pills. But they also often are EDNCs. By EDNCs, they're also often neurologically disrupting chemicals. I mean, look at BPA, for example. It's a um, mitochondrial inhibitor, you know, poly polychloral biphenyls also have additional toxic effects. Uh, a lot of things you wouldn't even think about, dry cleaning, you know, TCE. Okay, so I actually think that's one of the things that's a little complex and requires a little study, but it's pretty easy to learn. I've given a bunch of lectures on things that are neurotoxic, and that's something where I think I've gone way beyond the other Internet doctors to teach you about that stuff. I mean, you've got to filter your water. You're going to have AL and F- in there. Okay, you want to eat organic, or you're going to have GP in there and atrazine, all right? Um, also, modern culture tends to be very bad for the brain. The public school system is retarded. You know, they try to castrate the kids. Um, they also just teach you that life is atheistic and meaningless, and all that stuff weakens a person. Um, beat music, grunge music, it's all bad for the brain because uh, those loud, unpleasant noises push thinking out of your brain, and they gradually, if you get in the habit of doing that, it makes you stupid. Whenever I see a car drive by in the warm weather with the window open and I hear grunge music or beat music, I think to myself, that's a stupid person. You know, you should be listening to audiobooks in your car. An intelligent person listens to audiobooks and podcasts. There's so much to learn, it's not even funny. Don't get me wrong, sometimes a pleasant song puts us in a mood. Sometimes we're going through an emotional phase and the music is very soothing. That's all well and good and true. But on a daily basis, in terms of daily habits, you should constantly be learning when it easily, the opportunity easily presents itself to do. Like you're sitting in a car, might as well listen to a podcast or a book. Um, Epicureanism, sort of like the Brave New World book by Aldous Huxley, that weakens a person, okay? You know, pop culture modernism, it's very superficial and shallow, it weakens a person. Um, you know, learning how to function independent but cooperate when possible. All those things make you stronger. I've given lectures all about excitotoxins, which are all brain toxins. Mitochondria inhibitors, circ inhibitors are brain toxins. There's something you can't avoid. You can't avoid getting older, so aging is inevitable. But 
you can really avoid these most almost all of these neurotoxins as well as obesity, hypertension, and diabetes just by you know doing all the health habits that we talked about. But this is what I'm talking about. When a person says, oh, they're getting mentally slow, they don't like the way they're aging, I'm like, well, look, here really quick is about 30 things you could do. Why not do them? There is no magic pill that's going to change it. So the good news is that there's something you could do at all. You're not inevitably screwed. A lot of people age much better than other people. I see 80-year-old brains, 85-year-old brains, and they look like they're 45 years old. Okay, I see patients who are 45 years old and their brains destroyed by hypertensive hemorrhage and um, related hypertension and diabetes-related strokes or other things. You know, I see women who had hysterectomies when they were, you know, 28 years old or something, less than 35 for fibroids, and they end up demented by the time they're 60 due to a combination of hypertension, diabetes, atherosclerosis. Uh, so anyways, this is sort of the contest being fought for your brain. And if you're aware of it and you know how to do the good stuff, avoid the bad stuff, you got good odds. And if you don't, then you'd be like the typical Westerner after 55 to 60 years of age. Almost all of them are fat, sick, and stupid.